come on. Thought so? I thought it was at least a three and a half. I, I couldn't quite get the leg up, but uh, you know, it was a sick headlock takeover. I thought. Maybe we could use this replay. Uh, put it through the replay to see if it was. Really you know, high. I've actually used it in replay in a professional wrestling angle. Yeah. Had the rep go and check it and everything. It's fun, man. <laughs> what 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 is current is is real, you know. Dusty finish. Come run into this, please. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Jack, obviously it was last year we were getting introduced to you and talked to you first time. Now you're about to make the debut. What has the last year been like in terms of training? Man, it's been a, a very special journey for me. Uh, I already feel like I won because of this journey that I've been on. I've been able to better myself in so many ways, mentally and physically. Uh, I think Saturday is just going to be the icing on the cake. It's going to be one of those things that I always remember in my life and uh, you know a lot of people aren't gonna like me being on this card or what I get paid for this but that's not my problem. So obviously you just alluded to the fact that pro wrestlers don't often get the best reception from MMA fans. What's it been like so far for you and then I wanted to know have any pro wrestlers reached out to you be like yeah to give you support? Yeah yeah uh, I mean a lot of pro wrestlers don't get the best receptions. Uh, I feel like everybody loves me what's not to love uh it's it's been a very positive reception uh i feel like i feel like my background definitely has a has the help in that and um as far as pro wrestlers everybody from vince mcmahon to ray mysterio uh roman reigns like name dropping here no big deal uh, <laughs> it's <good for> these, <laughs> but it, it's cool because like I feel like I am a pro wrestler. I also feel like I'm a pro fighter. So to have that family from the pro wrestling community uh, stand by me and support me through this has been really, really special. What did, uh, what did Vince say to you? <laughs> he said, don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. Yep. Are they coming out? What? Are they coming out? They got, a, they got some small show on Sunday in Arizona, <laughs> so I don't think they're going to make it. But uh, next fight. Next fight, we'll get them. We'll get them cage side. <laughs> What's been the biggest difference for you as a professional wrestler now branching over to MMA as far as training goes? What's been the biggest difference for you? Uh, getting punched in the face is a big difference. <laughs> Got to learn how to catch them without your teeth. Uh, honestly, I I have relied a lot on my pro wrestling background, a lot of my amateur wrestling background to get me here. I don't have an amateur. Uh, fights. Honestly, I don't feel like I need it. I have thousands of amateur wrestling matches that I'm going to rely on to give me that experience. And then as far as pro wrestling, I absolutely 100% makes think it makes me a better pro fighter because I'm used to the bright lights. I'm used to you tell me when and where and I'm going to be there performing at a high level every time. And, and how do you look forward to bringing your charisma and personality into the sport as well too? I, you know, I don't think I can just step right in and say I'm the greatest of all time, um, but that's what I'm going after, and that's what I intend to prove. Um, it'll be uh, small increments, right time, right place. Uh, you know, as, as long as people keep throwing uh, hate at me and Bellator keeps throwing money at me, it's it's gonna come out. 
and we and we had another athlete last week, Greg Hardy, who had his MMA debut too. Not didn't go so well. Uh, are you going to be comfortable in the cage, uh, being out of your element a little bit? Uh, I don't think it's out of my element. I think that's right where I belong. Um, just because I haven't professionally fought in that cage doesn't mean that's not my home. I, I live there. I breathe there. I think I'm going to be very comfortable, and uh, I intend to show that. When was your last uh, wrestling match? I won uh, four or five World Heavyweight Championships with different promotions. Uh, I'm the current Lucha Underground Heavyweight Champion, which films here in Los Angeles. Uh, 2019 is going to have more of a focus on MMA, and I think it's uh, the most exciting part for me is like where I'm going to be in six months, where am I going to be a year, because I'm not going to be working on the weekends as much. I'm going to be at home training and really focused on this. That's what I wanted to ask you, is, is, is MMA now the, the focus? Do you consider yourself more now as a, as a fighter than a pro wrestler? Yep, but it's still, you know, I started doing this because I knew uh, becoming a pro MMA fighter would help me be a better pro wrestler and a pro wrestler make me a better fighter. So they go hand in hand and I intend to keep doing it the same way, keep making money. Uh, I got two kids in private school. I'm not fighting to be to drive a Bentley or have that big house. I want to put them through private school and, uh, you know, focus on that. A lot of